how do you get there before the problems arise? Right. How to, especially with HLVD, what are some of the tactics to stay ahead of that? Because that's something that, yes, pests don't affect every grower. They're super clean. We may, HLVD can affect anybody at this point. I mean, if you're popping seeds, that can affect you. If you're breeding, if you're just growing, if if you're just in-house, even everything, you're like, well, I just pop seeds and I don't take any cuts from anyone. You can still get it. New research shows that hop plate and viroid is found in not just hop, but obviously cannabis, but it's also been found in, I think, sunflower and like pepper, cucumber. Um, I have a video on it on my Instagram where I talk, this research report just came out. And so they were talking about how also um, it's uh, found seed transmissible. So vertically transmitted from parent to offspring way more commonly than was previously maybe thought might be the case. And that's why, and, the, and some of that research is quite old, right? And the way that we, uh, you know, characterize viruses and viruses have changed immensely in five years, let alone 20 or 25 years. So it makes sense that um, this is a more representative fact. So seeds aren't necessarily, um, you know, a safety. Cuttings, you can get through cuttings. Some viroids, and I don't know if this is true for hop, the viroid in particular, but some viroids have been found in like fungi, pathogenic fungi, beneficial fungi, and move between plants that way potentially. Water very well could be a factor just coming out of the roots or perhaps there's a wound or something if it's in the plant. And it moves, and so, some of this research has shown that movement in throughout the plant, like it gets everywhere basically in like, I think as little as like a, like early double digit days, like 11 or 14 days or something like that. Uh, I think it's the biggest, scariest problem we have right now, in my opinion. We've dealt with bugs and predators every cash crop has, but diseases, plant diseases, and especially now, like you said, we're never been moving around genetics more than we are right now right? throughout the whole entire world, which is the, the flip side of that coin is HLVD and plant disease. And that's why you have customs checks and they're like, you're bringing bananas in from another country. Yeah. Hold on. We yeah. have a pest that we don't have in the U.S. that is born on these, let's just say like Nicaraguan bananas. And now you're about to bring it to your backyard. And now we're breeding this new pest in the U.S. What do you think about that? Because I'm a, I'm a freedom loving American. I am too. But like, that's really scary. Like, for example, I know personally, I always give the example of um, the, the chestnut blight. Long time ago, we used to have millions of chestnut trees, right? It was called the chestnut because we'd make so much thing, so many things out of it, very important things out of it. Uh, people from Europe, particularly, and then also there was chestnut in the Americas. Obviously, the United, the United States is a lot different then. It will only need a few Chinese chestnut with this fungus to like kill millions of trees, change the whole landscape forever. And so like that's, and so right now we're just getting chestnut trees that are resistant, that we're finally able to, to kind of regrow some of the forests and things like that and do something. But I bring it up because like once it's happened, it can't be unhappened <laughs> and, no. and we don't know that's what we're crazy. dealing with. Yeah. Dude, and then imagine something to come just wipe out all the runs. <laughs> all the LCGs. There's a lot of people praying for that. <laughs> 